I think it's a sad day for America that whenever the president speaks, now you have to take it with a bit of skepticism, wondering if he's telling you the whole truth. What I've got here is a couple of videos I'd like you to listen to and just see the discrepancies involved. At your Burma town hall a couple of days ago, you tried to inspire young leaders by saying governments need to be held accountable and be responsive to the people. I wonder how you square that with your former advisor, uh, Jonathan Gruber, claiming you were not transparent about the health law because, in his words, the American people, the voters, are stupid. Did you mislead Americans about the taxes, about keeping your plan, in order to get the bill passed? No, I, I did not. Uh, I, I just heard about this. Yeah, I, I get well briefed uh, before I come out here. Uh, th the fact that some advisor who never worked on our staff, some advisor who never worked on our staff, some advisor who never worked on our staff. So now the president claims that he never worked on his staff or was never a part of the official process. Well, there's such thing as video. And anyways, listen to the second recording and see for yourself whether you believe the president. Thing that's real cost control that we know it'll work, go after this. Now the problem is it's a political nightmare and people say no you can't tax my benefits. It feels like. So what we did a lot in that room was think about well how could, talk about well how could we make this work and Obama's like well you know, I mean he's really a realistic guy. He's like look I can't just do this. He said it's just not going to happen politically. The bill will not pass. How do we manage to get there through phases and other things and we talked about it. Um, and he was just very interested in that topic and once again that ultimately became the genesis of what's called the Cadillac tax and the health care bill, which I think is one of the most important and bravest parts of the health care law and um, doesn't get nearly enough credit. There you have it. Two conflicting accounts about Jonathan Gruber's participation in Obamacare. The problem is Jonathan Gruber's remarks are over a year old and have never been disputed until they became public knowledge. The lies and deception this administration has put out to the American public is at a level I don't think our country has ever seen before. The sooner this administration's term is over, the better off we will all be.